G'day folks, it's Will here from Flow Mountain Bike and welcome to this video review of the Mondraker Foxy. Now the Mondraker Foxy slots into the enduro slash all mountain category on the Spanish brand's website. This bike has 29 inch wheels and 160 mil travel fork and 150 mil of rear wheel travel. It's got an edgy frame design with a sculpted head tube and a razor thin top tube which forms a pleasingly continuous line all the way to the rear dropouts. The Foxy is built around Mondraker's zero suspension platform and this sees a one piece swing arm connected to the front triangle via two linkages. The rear shock pierces through the seat tube tunnel where it floats in between the linkage. As we've come to expect from Mondraker, the Foxy is a proud proponent of the forward geometry concept. And this sees a very long and slack front end paired to a very short 30 millimeter stem. Our medium sized test bike gets a generous 465 millimeter reach and that's paired to a 64.5 degree head angle, a 75.5 degree seat tube angle, a 30 mil BB drop and a 445 millimeter rear center length. Now the carbon frames do have a geometry flip chip in the lower linkage. Flip that guy around and the rear center will shorten by 10 millimeters to 435 millimeters. It'll also lift the bottom bracket by five mil and steepen the angles by half a degree. There are five models in the 2023 Mondraker Foxy lineup. Three of those will use carbon frames and two will use alloy frames. Prices will start at around six and a half thousand Australian dollars for the base level alloy Foxy. The bike that we've been testing here is the Mondraker Foxy Carbon RR. And this bike sits one step down from the top of the range. Now it is actually a 2022 model, though it is otherwise identical to the 2023 version with the new bike changing to SRAM code brakes and an E13 wheel set. This bike is built around a full carbon frame. It features an Olin's RXF 36 Mark II fork and a TTX air shock. It's got a SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain and Maxxis Minion tires, which use the XO Plus casing and 3C Max Terra rubber compound. Confirmed weight for our Mondraker Foxy test bike is 14.22 kilos, which is pretty light for a bike with this much travel and such aggressive geometry. As for what we like about the Mondraker Foxy, well, for a start, just look at it. This bike has great stance on the trail, and while looks aren't everything, we dig the unique and instantly recognizable silhouette. Thankfully, the sharp aesthetic is backed up by similarly sharp pedaling performance. This bike is impressively efficient, whether you're cruising or stomping on the pedals, though it manages to do this while minimizing feedback through the drivetrain. There's plenty of grip available, and along with a tall front end and relatively upright riding position, this bike is comfortable for riding up and over rock-laden trails. We also like how the lightweight carbon frame and efficient pedaling performance gives the Foxy a whippy and agile character. Thanks to the itty bitty stem, the front end steering is light and responsive and it encourages you to slam the front wheel from side to side to initiate quick and forceful changes of direction. On chunkier single track, we've been impressed by the supple and well damped suspension. The back end tracks well through sketchy rock gardens and across loose dusty corners, providing you traction when you need it most. It certainly plays well with the Foxy's long wheelbase and slack front end, keeping you thoroughly grounded at speed. On the note of the Olin suspension, we quite like the black high-speed compression lever on both the fork and the rear shock. The suspension is nice and supple in the fully open position, though toggling that lever does provide a noticeable increase in support. Whilst not a full lockout, the firmest position is still useful for riding on the road to and from the trails, and that's particularly the case when you consider that an equivalent RockShox Lyric or Fox 36 has no such pedaling aids. The middle positions prove to be beneficial when riding on smoother and flowier single track, and during visits to the local dirt jumps, the increased damping support provided greater response when pushing the bike through rollers and into takeoffs. Ultimately, the long wheelbase and the highly damped suspension means the Foxy is not an inherently playful bike, though it is still great in the air, offering plenty of enthusiasm thanks to its low overall weight. As for the downsides of the Mondraker Foxy, 
We found the rear suspension to be too linear out of the box, resulting in an excessive number of bottom out events. In order to run the recommended 30% sag, we had to fit the maximum number of volume spaces inside the rear shock. It did ride really well once we had it dialed in, though it still doesn't bode well for heavier riders and those wanting to run a coil shock. The 150mm dropper post is on the shorter side these days and the remote lever does seem pretty cheap for a bike at this price point. We'd also recommend that aggressive riders wanting to get the most out of this bike upgrade to a tougher tyre casing on the rear and a stickier compound tyre on the front. There are a couple of other issues that we encountered with this bike. From the first ride there was a disconcerting knocking noise coming from the head tube which occurred whenever you would load and unload the front end. We tried a different fork to no avail, which leads us to believe it's coming from the headset itself. Speaking of, we're not big fans of the headset routing, even if it does complement the Foxy's clean lines and helps to reduce cable noise from the front of the bike. We're also disappointed to discover some tire rub on the inside of the chainstays, which is likely being caused by a combination of both wheel and frame flex. The rubbing is fairly light, though it is something that heavier riders will want to be aware of. We also wouldn't recommend running any tyre bigger than the stock 2.4 inch Minion. On the trail, while the Foxy is lightweight and efficient, it can be difficult to tame when the climbs get particularly steep. The high front end and the short stem contribute to front wheel wander, so you really need to get your weight forward and low in order to keep it in check. A steeper seat tube angle would no doubt help here, and potentially longer chain stays to help balance out the huge front centre. Generally speaking, we found that the lively nature of the Foxy meant this isn't really a bike for trail cruising. It much prefers riding at higher speeds and preferably down steeper gradients. The exuberant handling requires a skilled pilot to get the most out of it, with the Foxy demanding your attention to keep that front wheel actively weighted. That means it's not the most forgiving bike if you're feeling tired and fatigued, or if you're simply riding along mellower terrain. If you're after a cushy lounge chair, you'll want to look elsewhere because this is a very involving bike to ride. Now you might be curious as to how the Mondraker Foxy compares to some of its big name competitors like the Specialized Stump Jumper Evo, the Trek Fuel EX and the Scott Genius. We've put a comparison between all three of these bikes and the Foxy in the full review. If you're keen to check it out, make sure you click the link in the video description below. And that folks brings us to the verdict on the Mondraker Foxy. With its sleek carbon frame, Swedish suspension and forward geometry concept, the Foxy offers a ride quality that's as unique as it looks. This is a bike that loves to ride hard and fast on steep terrain, where it rewards an assertive pilot with plenty of grip and control. It doesn't have quite the same heft or travel as its bigger brother, the Super Foxy, though with a burlier set of tyres, this would actually make a deadly fast enduro race bike for a lighter rider. It's not particularly forgiving though, so we wouldn't recommend it for beginners or those who live amongst flatter landscapes. We were disappointed to encounter some niggling issues with our test bike, and the fact that we had to run the maximum number of volume spaces in the rear shock doesn't bode well for heavier riders. Once dialed in though, the highly adjustable Olin suspension is very impressive, and it will no doubt attract mountain bike magpies who love a little bit of bling. Along with the sharp and unmistakable lines of its gorgeous carbon frame, the Mondraker Foxy presents an attractive left of center option that will suit riders who are looking for something a little bit different to the mainstream. Now, as per usual, there is a ton more information on our experience with this bike in the full review over at flowmountainbike.com. Just make sure you click the link in the video description below to check it out. If you've got any questions for us about the Mondraker Foxy, throw those into the comments below and make sure you give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Otherwise, that's it from me, folks, and we shall see you next time. Two roots.